So you've made many friends among the community. Oh here. yes, friends and friendly acquaintances. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. And now since you become Muslim, have you been able to talk to other people, other ladies about Islam, and have you seen other people accepting Islam? Oh. You mean other Muslims or non-Muslims? Muslims, non-Muslims alike. Yes. Uh, what I was asking you specifically, have you yes. seen non-Muslims coming to Islam and you've been able to talk to them and explain to them Oh, about like Islam? new shahars, yes. I've, I've had that experience. Yes. But I had uh, friends who, were, who are still non-Muslims and they're going to come here for uh, a yuma. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, the one, her husband is going to come too. Yeah. And... Uh, other ones. Do you are, see many ladies now are accepting Islam and taking Shahada? I think it would be a good number. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know who could tell you best about that would be Sister Rashida. Mm-hmm. She's in charge of it. She's very, very smart and a good Muslim. But Sister Aisha, yeah. do people ever ask you, why did you become Muslim? Yes. And what and do you tell them? I tell them because God wanted me, because Allah wanted me. And that's the only reason that I, I can know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, it had nothing to do with uh, knowledge about what how Muslims live and so on. Although those two cab drivers, when they came back, they were very, very helpful mm-hmm. in about the religion itself. And as I say, then the father, Muhammad, brought me up here. He said, I'm going to take you up to this mosque because a lot of, there's a lot of English spoken here. Mm-hmm. And, and as I say, I was welcomed with open arms and I still am. Mm-hmm. And in spite of the fact that I can't go up the stairs, the brothers welcome me too. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. And you said most of your family is dead. Does the community here now feel like your family? Oh, yeah, they do definitely. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. And there's one sister, she's away now, but she comes every Thursday with her children mm-hmm. to uh, visit me. We go to the park and she... I'm learning Arabic. I'm starting with the alphabet. <laughs> it's never too late to learn something, you know. Right. And she explains religious things. And then I have a brother, and a brother Mahir, mm-hmm. and he is sort of like a son. Mm-hmm. He was here, and his mother had died, and he couldn't get home for the funeral. Mm-hmm. So he asked, well, could he call me mom? Just mm-hmm. call me mom. Right. Not, not like his Uma, no, mm-hmm. but just like that. Yeah. And he's been very helpful. And mm-hmm. tells me all sorts of things that I mean I can't read in books and all, uh-huh. and and ties my coat, pulls my coattail to let me know right. what to do and what not to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So let me ask you, Sister Aisha. Maybe mm-hmm. people are watching you and they don't have a, uh, they yeah. have some misunderstandings yeah, about oh, yes. Islam and what are some of the basic things you would tell the people that Islam is not? I tell them it's not does not uh, make heroes out of uh, what are those? Terrorists? Terrorists. No, no, the bombers. Yeah. So I said that's exact, completely against Muslim. They won't get Muslim funerals, even if there was something left of their body. I said it is not a, a practice of the Islamic religion. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, Sister Aisha. Uh, mashallah, it was very nice to talk to you, and it's very inspirational because we know as Muslims that Allah, He gives us our whole life. To, oh, to he's come in to him. charge of everything. Yes. I mean, it's a peaceful to me, uh-huh. and it's so, it's so to really give yourself to him and to say, inshallah, no matter what happens, inshallah. Sometimes I might get my liver in an uproar about something, but then I realize he's still in charge. He's the one, and then I say thank you mm-hmm. to him. Yes, mm-hmm. yes, definitely. Okay, sister okay. Aisha, okay. we'll have to wrap up. But is there anything else, final thing you would like to tell to our viewers? I'd like to tell our viewers to speak out about what the Muslim language, what the Muslim religion is, yes. especially in the United States, and to try to speak to people who will listen. Mm-hmm. And people that you see every day, you can, you can bring up, that, which I do. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think we have an obligation to make the truth be known about how the Islam religion is. In fact, I gave out a book to a neighbor about the Islam religion, and he and his wife came over and when it was so hot I didn't have it. an air conditioning they brought me a little window air conditioning anyway he said he's, he's interested in the 
Yeah, he's a, he does psychiatric work, and his wife's a social worker. Mm -hmm. So that would be excellent. Yeah. And thank you. No, thank and you again, Sister Aisha. And alhamdulillah, really, it's really inspirational to Muslims to understand that the religion of truth, it can reach everybody as long, you know, as long as you're alive, you still have a chance to, to yeah. know about Islam and accept Islam and receive the rewards from Allah for the people who believe in Him. So and, I hope... And that's one of the brothers that he helped me too. Uh -huh. And that one over there, uh -huh. leaning against them. So alhamdulillah, the brothers in the yeah. communities, all the people are very helpful to oh, you. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Well, this is the brotherhood. This is the city of brotherly love. And, you know, even the Muslims from our religion, yeah. we have brotherly love and sisterly love. Yeah, and right. alhamdulillah that, that you have found that in Islam. Oh, yes. So I hope our viewers who have really have seen something uh, it's amazing here, that people who are 75 years old and 80 years old are accepting Islam because this is just goes to the truth of Islam and the message of Islam. When people take time with an open mind to look and understand, then they have no choice except to accept the truth. So I hope our viewers will continue with us on this journey of discovery of Islam in America. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.